Hello, hello everybody, my name is Kai and welcome to my Abyssal Sire Guide. So let's jump straight to the requirements and yes, you need to complete some quests for this. First, you have to start or complete the quest Fairy Tale Part 2. Please complete the quest, it's super easy. This quest will allow you to use the Fairy Ring DIP which takes you right to the Nexus where you kill the Sire. Next, you need to complete the quest Desert Treasure. This quest will allow you to use Ancient Magics, which are used to stun the Sire respiratory systems. Next, for the stats needed, you need 85 Slayer, because you can only kill the Abyssal Sire on a Slayer task, 85 290 Strength and Attack, at least 80 Defense, but the higher the better, 85 290 Ranged, 88 Magic to use Shadow Barrage on a Sire respiratory system, and finally, at least 70 Prayer to use Piety. Now, for the gear, you need to use ranged and melee. The absolutely crucial items are the helmet, the blowpipe and the arc light. The helmet, because it's a slayer task and you need to use a slayer helmet. The blowpipe, because it's super fast to kill the respiratory systems. Yes, some people use magic, but I prefer ranged. And finally, the arc light, because the Abyssal Sire is a demonic creature and the arc light gives you a 70% boost in accuracy against demonic creatures, so you really have to use it. And as you can see, I only use a 4-way switch, so I only switch the weapon, top, bottom and cape slot. But if you want, you can use more switches, but I think the less the better. And please, if you need to downgrade or upgrade the gear, feel free to do it. Now, in the inventory, you need a Dragon Warhammer to spec the Abyssal Sire in the beginning of the fight to lower his defense. Then, 2 prayer potions, 1 super combat potion, 1 ranging potion, an antidote plus plus and a stamina potion. Next, to cast the Shadow Barrage, you need 4 air, 2 bloods, 3 souls, and 4 death runes. So bring a rune pouch with a lot of casts, and if you don't have one, bring just the runes. Next, you need a teleport to a bank to a bank and get back there. I will use my farming cape, but you can use whatever teleport you want. Also, I will bring a teleport to house because I have the rejuvenation pool and a fairy ring in my house. But bring a teleport that takes you near a fairy ring to get back there again. And finally, for the rest of the inventory, I will bring karambo ones, but please bring high healing foods. I'm a cheap ass. And yeah, I think that's it. Are you ready? Let's kill Sire. Okay, now that you are near a fairy ring, please teleport to the code DIP. And now at the Nexus we have 4 spots that we can kill the Sire. I always go to the Northwest, I don't know why, but you can pick whatever you want. Don't forget to drink your stamina potion on the way there. And now you can see some tiles marked on the ground. I'll pause the video now, so please mark these exact tiles, because these tiles will help you throughout the fight. Ok, hope you marked the correct tiles. Now drink a sip of your ranging potion and use Shadow Barrage on the Sire. Count 1, 2, 3 and go kill the vent. You can use Rigor to boost your damage or Eagle Eye if you don't have Rigor. When you use the Shadow Barrage you have 29 seconds to kill the vents. So we will use 2 Shadow Barrages. Use Rigor to kill it faster. Ok, go to the middle. Use Shadow Barrage again on the Sire, in the middle. Go straight to the vents. Now the south one, use Rigor or Eagle Eye. Now we can equip our melee gear, go to the middle and equip also our Dragon Warhammer. Take a sip of your super combat potion, activate the protection from melee, piety and spec the sire two times with your dragon war hammer. Now here in the first phase we have basically two mechanics. The first one, the sire can turn the ground underneath you into a miasma pool. You just have to click two squares away and if you get caught please take a sip of your antidote plus plus. And the second one, the sire can summon a spawn that will turn into a scion. You can kill the spawn, but normally I ignore him because that slows the kill overall. Now we're going to the second phase, so always pray ranged and go to this square right here. 
The sire will turn the ground into a miasma pool so he goes straight to the second square and attack her. And now when this miasma pool disappears we want to click on that exact spot to avoid the next one. So click it and we just avoided the next one. Now the second mechanic on this phase, as you can see the sire teleported us and when she does this you want to click the squares that are farthest from her, like this, so you avoid a 60 or more damage. So now she opened her mouth or I don't know what that is, but yeah when she does this you can attack her and pay attention to the miasma pools beneath you and avoid them and you can click the squares that are furthest from her and that's a sire kill. <laughs> Okay, so that was easy, let's do another one. Always Shadow Barrager on the beginning. Count 1, 2, 3 and you can go. First one down, second one, third one. And the last respiratory system, let's go to the middle. Equip your Dragon Warhammer and the last of the melee gear. Take a sip of your super combat potion if you want. Pray melee, pray piety, and spec with your dragon warhammer. Nice. Pay attention to the miasma pools that will appear on the ground, like this. Okay, took some damage, no problem. When 50% of her health is gone, she goes to the second phase. There it is. Don't forget to pray ranged and wait for the miasma pool. Okay, second square right now. Wait till the miasma pool disappears and go to that square. Exactly. Remember, when she teleports you, run away. Like this. Click away. And when she opens, you can attack. Run away from the miasma pools and you can go to the back squares. I fucked up here, but I think we're okay. And that's another kill. I think we can kill her for the third time, so let's try it. Shadow Barrage her in the beginning, you know the drill. One, two, three, kill the vents. Big hits with the rigor. Let's go to the middle, pot up. Dragon Warhammer, protect from melee, piety, and let's pack her. Nice. Watch out for the Miasma Pool. Yep. Let's go to the second phase. You can pray ranged. Wait for the Miasma Pool to appear beneath you. Ooh, too soon. Let's run away. <laughs> Okay, click, click, click. No problem. When she teleports, you run away and open and attack. Run away from the miasma pools. Attack her. Let's go, let's go. Please hit. Don't turn off your prayer. And there it is. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> That's an insire. Bro, well, uh, I'm glad I was filming. I wasn't expecting this. Well, guys, if you want to see what I got, please go see the first episode of my new series, Road to Max. I don't want to give any spoilers. But yeah, this was the guide. I really hope I helped you guys. If I helped you, please let me know in the comments below. And with that said, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And i see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.